We're doing the flip through of second grade math with confidence. I switched my eldest child to this at the beginning of our school year and I've been super happy with it. I did an overview of this curriculum so you can find that video on my channel, but also I wanted to give you a flip through so you can really see how this program works and if it could be the right fit for your family. All right, here are the books for second grade math with confidence. This is your teacher's manual, which you can see is very thick. That's just printed on regular paper. It's not even like thicker paper than normal. It's a very thick teacher's guide. And then you've got your student workbook. So let's look at the teacher's guide first. And in here are 32 weeks of math lessons, okay? You've got a five day school week, but your fifth lesson of the week is completely optional. It's considered an, enri an enrichment lesson, and so you do not have to do it. It's just basically for fun, okay? Or if a child needs maybe some extra practice or whatever, you can do that. But uh, it's definitely optional. So I printed this at home uh, using my eco tank. But as you can see, it's all in black and white in here. You've got your table of contents, and this is broken down into units. And then it shows you what happening in each unit and each week. So you get your introduction. There's lots of um, parent direction in here, which is very, very helpful. And just shows you how it works. Oh, there's so much. I mean, there's so much helpful information in here. It's really, really good to read. There's lots of information on how to set up your math box the best way. And then this is how a unit starts. So you've got your unit one here it's going to tell you so this is just review for unit one okay so your, your child is going to be learning or reviewing concepts that they've already been taught uh, and then in the week specifically it's going to tell you what you're going to learn that week so you have your overall unit which covers a specific topic but then each week also covers a specific topic if that makes sense so it's like an umbrella topic and then smaller topics within that and then here you can see each lesson so this is lesson one day one and at the top here is where you have your overview of what that day is going to look like. So you have a warm up, which is where you review concepts that have already been taught. You have your lesson and then you have the workbook, which your child can either do with you or independently. My kids can typically do that independently. So here's your warm up. And this is optional in the sense that if your child has already mastered these concepts, they can skip this, the, the parts in here that they already know. But if they need more practice, Here's where you do it. This is lots of fun. And then you move on to the activity portion. And this is the lesson part of the, um, the lesson. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. It's the teaching part of the lesson. The words that are in bold are words that you read to your child. And everything else is for you as the parent. So it makes it nice and simple. Here is the lesson. It's just all scripted reading. And I love that there are illustrations to really show what you need to be doing with your child. Obviously you're using the double 10 frames here and that is a resource you'll find at the end of this book which you can um, laminate. I laminated mine and put it into a folder that's easy to pull out. Uh, and then over here, the last thing, and this is very common in uh, this curriculum is it'll tell you to go play a game with your kid and this is addition climb and slide and it's basically like a modified version of snakes and ladders um but it uses addition and they've also got a sub subtraction version and you'll play this in a lesson but then you'll also often be prompted to do this in the warm-up uh, so your child is again reinforcing the concepts that have been taught so that's very normal and that is a lesson and so then you'll move on to the next lesson. <laughs> and that's how your week looks day to day. I would say these lessons don't take us any longer than 15, maybe 20 minutes for my second grader. Sometimes less than that. Um, but that's what your lessons look like. So here you can see lesson 1.5 is enrichment and review and it's optional. Uh, there are also picture books, I believe. I don't know if they say this in second grade, but I know in first grade there are picture book recommendations. So let's see if they did have that in the beginning. Yep, recommended math picture books. They're optional, but that's a really fun add-on if you want to do that. So this is the end of the week. And at the end of the week, what you're going to see are all your pages where you have the answer key to the workbook. And then you move on to week two. And again, you have an overview of the week and you go through and then you do that 
all the way to the end of the unit. So here we've reached the end of unit one. And at the end of unit one, you get a checkpoint. And this is essentially your child's assessment. So it's not a formal test. It is something that you as a parent are going to assess your own child on. So you get to look at your child and these are the things they're expected to have to know. And then you can assess whether or not they're ready to move on or if they still need more work. Um, and the nice thing about the fact that this is only 32 weeks worth of work is that you have time to do that reinforcement. You can go back and play games um, and it specifically tells you what to do to reinforce those concepts. So that is how the book works and all the different units. It's just so well laid out. It's so simple to use and it's just wonderful. So now I'm going to show you the workbook portion and this is the portion that can be done fairly independently, I feel. Um, but it's, my kids really like it. So I'm going to show you, I'm just flipping through to where we are. But what will happen is when we start this again for our school term, we will do lesson 10.2. So the second day of the 10th week, we will do a lesson. And once we've completed that lesson, we will come here to the workbook. Now in this lesson, obviously we're going to be playing a game together. Not all of the um, lessons are like that, but this one does. So see it's here, see the instructor guide for how to play, save this game board for future lessons. So I would play this with my son. And then on this page, he will be doing this. And this is all reviewing concepts he's already learned. So that is all he would do as far as workbook work for that day. The next day, you can see here, there's no game on this page, but this is what he would do after completing the lesson with me in the other book. So this is directly after he has learned this concept. It's like reinforcing what he's just learned in the lesson book. And then this stuff, this stuff is all review. So you've got what you've just learned on the front page and what they're reviewing on the back page. And this is where you can have a little bit more liberal license if your child really has mastered this stuff then you might skip some of it or whatever. But that is what the workbook looks like. It's fun and colorful, but it's also, I feel like, fairly simple. Your child is not going to have to do a whole lot of reading, which is excellent if you have a child who perhaps is further ahead in their math skills than they are in their reading skills. They can still do this fairly independently, um, which is excellent if you're also multiple, if you're um, homeschooling multiple kids because you can kind of split your time between them. So that is the workbook. And that's what it looks like. So fun. There's still fun things in there. But not too higgledy-piggledy. And the pages are nice and simple. And there's a fun certificate at the end. So I hope that was helpful and insightful. And gave you an idea of whether or not this is the right fit for you. Um, if you have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. the world had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread?